Alan, how did the idea for the AMR first come about? We were approached by some architects that we've been working with uh, to develop a, a particular idea, which was um, a box concept, but it was actually manufactured by using drywall and then putting a, a system front in it, which is what we're known for yep. uh, historically. When we actually had a look at this, they said to us, well, surely there's a product that could do this. Why are we bespoking it every single time? Surely there is something that could come and it has all of the characteristics that, that, you, that you need. And so really that was the spark that kind of started the, the research and the development of, of that particular product at that time. How soon after going into um, researching this product did you realise that there was a gap in the market? Uh, very quickly, <laughs> so, yeah, it has to be said. I think that's, uh, I think that's, that's fair to say. And we realised that there just wasn't anything that was doing that um, at the time, so it was a very easy thing for us to commission and to, and to get going. Aluminium and glass are obviously incredibly important. Um, can you stress how much so? Uh, it's hard to do that, to be <laughs> honest with you, because they are hugely important uh, to us. Aluminium is a great product for us to, to work with. It's inert, we can install it 12 months a year, regardless of the temperature, regardless of humidity. But the aluminium that we use, that we make our AMR with, 75% of it has already been something else. Okay, so it's hugely sustainable. Hugely sustainable, and we're trying to keep the circle of aluminium going, and we know uh, others are also. And then glass, of course, not only can you see through it, it's got great acoustics, um, but you can recycle that as well. So it's a win-win it's for us. Brilliant. Christian, what were some of the issues of furniture pods that you were asked to overcome? There were four main issues were identified. Air quality, acoustics, lighting and adaptability. In the initial stages of research and development, we went out and interviewed a lot of facilities managers. One facilities manager carried out his own investigations and discovered that the CO2 levels were building up relatively quickly in these spaces, creating people to feel unwell. On further investigation, they discovered the lighting wasn't adjustable to suit the main causes that they would bought the pods for in the first place, i.e. study booths and video conferencing. Video conferencing also caused another problem. Desk users around the pods were complaining that they were being disturbed by people using the pods because they just didn't have the acoustic integrity that were required for that use. The other main issue that we've come across from a lot of users of pods is the fact that they're just not adaptable. They need to be able to be adapted from smaller to larger or to be quickly moved into other locations to meet the differing needs of users. Can you tell me how the pandemic has affected um, AMR in terms of release? Any changes you might have made to it or have you always been, this is what we're going to do, no changes required? We know that we've got a great product. We wanted to get people to the showroom to see it and we've just been frustrated by the whole process of not being able to do that. Yeah. However, what we have been able to do during the pandemic is we looked at other add-ons to the AMR that would be perhaps useful to people returning to the office. Things like antibacterial coatings to the aluminium and uh, we also have a, unit, a UV cleansing unit which will uh, sterilise the air in the space. We're not saying that those are necess necessities but they're there if people want to add them to their to their AMR. Yeah. It's, it's not a fixed size, it can be made bigger, uh, and there's lots of add-ons that you can put, put into it as well, exactly the same as we would uh, in our normal day-to-day -day business that's made us successful. So what it seems like is you've almost created an additional um, arm to the business. So you've got your big sort of block structures going up and then you've got your, your temporary units going in as well. And that's exactly what we hoped for at, at the very beginning. The office environment is changing and we as a business have got to, to change with it as well. One of the beauties of this product is though that uh, a client can rent space. They don't have to necessarily spend their money doing a full fit out. They can actually bring some of our AMRs onto site. They're all plug and play. And literally within two days, you have an, a working environment with exactly what you would expect to have. Um, Christian, Alan, thank you very much. No, thank you. No, thank you.